I'm Chris O'Dell. I'm Chief Technology Officer at Mike's Bikes. I'm responsible for pretty much any piece of equipment that connects to the internet or is involved in the customer transaction experience. Mike's Bikes recently started a trajectory of national expansion. When you're trying to scale up and open new stores rapidly, there's a huge checklist of items that you have to go down for every location. On terms of scalability, I think, you know, with Verkata, the sky's the limit. That's one of the reasons we selected it. There was no worry about being able to get the right hardware for whatever situation that we needed to handle, right, as we acquire or open new stores in new places. Well, I was approached by Verkata's product team. I also really quickly realized that having all the data for our point of sale system available within command was gonna be really popular with the rest of the management team. So I saw an opportunity to have fun implementing a new and exciting product and get a lot of value out of it in the end. And I think during that conversation, at one point it did come up, is there a way to get our point of sale data into the product so that later on it becomes really simple to find the transaction we're looking for. And at that time, there wasn't that opportunity, but now obviously there is. And that's one of the reasons I was so happy to be part of getting Helix to market. The process of setting up Helix and our data integration with it was pretty straightforward. We initially came up with the data set that included the elements we wanted to see in command, like the, the transaction ID and the date and the amount and platform is flexible. So any other pieces of data that we felt were important to see in command, I could add to that file easily. Well, right now, we have two primary use cases for Helix. The first one is the ability to quickly find a potentially fraudulent transaction. Every once in a while, where someone buys something expensive at one of our stores, and then later they call their credit card company and try to say that they didn't do it. That can take some time at the credit card processor level for the wheels to grind, but then eventually they call us and they say, hey, do you have any proof that this transaction occurred at this time and place. With our old system, it was somewhat laborious to go back and, and find exactly the clip that we were looking for. Now, with all the data in there, available in Helix, looking in command and putting a transaction number in the search box and poof, you've got your proof right there that you can download. So use case number two was the ability to look at our test ride process with the customers. When you come in to a Mike's Bikes and you want to test ride a bike, there's a certain procedure that the sales associates are supposed to follow. They give you a helmet, you know, they familiarize you with the bike, they set the seat post to the right height, but they also, they're supposed to take your credit card and run a penny transaction and match it up with your ID. It occurred to me that I could just search for all the penny transactions and validate that the stores are following all the procedures to provide the customer the experience that we want. Having all of our transaction data along with the video available in command and using Helix allows us to have more people in the organization utilizing that data in a meaningful way without having to have technical assistance. I would characterize Helix as a huge product value add that is versatile in a way that might make it useful to a great number of different business situations.